Hey all here at OS Reviews, over the past few years we've seen a number of smart water bottles, all of them which have slightly different features which make them smart. There's one from a subsidiary of Xiaomi that we saw and shows the temperature of the water inside in addition to giving you some other interactive controls like a timer and a watch. Slightly more complicated ones which can track how much water that you're drinking, others which were aimed slightly for kids that can show uh, kind of an animated character that tries to get you to drink more water. Well today we're taking a look at yet another version but has a slightly different twist. It's called the Derma Electric Hot Water Cup and as the name implies it Instead of tracking how much water you're drinking, the smart feature here is the bottle can heat itself up, up to boiling point or 100 degrees, which makes it pretty convenient if you're trying to, uh, again, make sure that the water you're drinking is sanitary, or if you're making coffee or tea and you don't have a traditional uh, heater nearby, this can kind of do that for you. This company, Derma, is another subsidiary of Xiaomi. So technically, this is another Xiaomi ecosystem product. It's also very affordable, selling for as low as 35 bucks, which is really a bargain. So anyways, this is what the bottle looks like. There is still a LED display on the bottom that can show you the current temperature of the water inside, uh, when it's boiling, when you want to reheat it up to a certain temperature. Uh, one thing to note, though, is some of the characters here are printed in Chinese because this was intended originally for the Chinese market. But with just two buttons, it should be pretty easy to figure out. It claims to heat water up very quickly, in under five minutes in most cases, and can be adjusted to multiple degrees, uh, from boiling to something under for different beverages, from milk, uh, from tea to coffee, things like that. And the cap can also be used as a little cup for drinking more water. Some things to keep in mind, though, is that the containment volume is a little bit less than some of the other water bottles we've seen. It's 350 milliliters. The other bottles, which have 500 milliliters and above, for around the same size. And that's because a portion of the cup's length has to be taken up by the heating components. So the actual volume of water that you can store inside is a little bit less and requires 300 watts of power to operate. So one thing to keep in mind is if you're boiling water, you do need to still plug the cup into a power outlet or into a power bank. One thing I do want to point out, though, is because this was aimed for the Chinese market, uh, plugs, wall plugs in China typically draw 220 volts uh, versus in the US and many other countries which draws 110 volts. So that's going to be less. Um, it's still perfectly safe to use, but as a result, the power flowing into the cup, if you aren't using a converter, is going to be less than if you're using it in China. And that means if you're boiling water and using it here in the States just by plugging it into the wall, it's going to take a few minutes longer for the water to boil. In fact, it's around 8 to 9 minutes in my testing. That's still fine and pretty cool for something so compact. But again, if you were in China and using the 220 volt uh, wall sockets, you can technically get it heated up in under 5 minutes. And inside here we have just the Derma Smart Cup itself, in addition to the uh, instruction manual here, which is uh, documented in color, giving you some quick instructions and a certificate. And then we also have the aforementioned adapter for plugging it into the wall. It's actually using a pretty standard three-prong adapter that many appliances use. Exploring the cup's design here, it is pretty well constructed, made out of this polycarbonate plastic. The top cap portion is coated in a soft touch rubber material, which makes it feel grippier. On the very top, there's also a valve. Uh, that's because once the water reaches 100 degrees or boiling point, you can first tap on this valve to release some steam, so that when you open up the cap, it doesn't release too much hot air into your face. Then on the bottom, we have access to the OLED display, in addition to touch controls for changing the water temperature, heating it up, up, things like that. Um, on the side here there is a rubber gasket that covers up the charging port. The base here does feature soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface. So overall a very clean and elegant design. To me at least that's pretty impressive considering that this thing has a again heating component inside but it still has very similar weight and overall kind of dimensions to other water bottles. Now if we untwist the cup holder here, we can see that the inside of this little cap, which again can be used as a cup, is red, which looks pretty uh, colorful, works quite well, and then the inside here is made out of the stainless steel. There's a line here that indicates how much water it should be filled at if you're trying to use it for heating. I guess one slight downside compared to a traditional bottle like the other ones we've seen is there is no kind of small sipping compartment that you can use to uh, drink water out of. Um, that's not something built into the cap. 
The cup does also have a small speaker that will beep to give you alerts like when the water has finished boiling, when you've plugged into power, and when you're tapping on the controls. Immediately the display turns on, it's pretty bright and easy to read, just shows the current temperature of the water that is inside. And then we have two keys. The bottom is for changing the water temperature that you want to heat it to. You can change it by increments of 5, from 40 degrees, 45, 50, 55, 60, all the way up to 90 degrees all the way up to 90 degrees. Now again, this is not the... Uh... Now if you do want to go through a regular boil, you can tap on the top key here that says boil water, and then that will basically begin the boiling. You can see it start to flash a few times. The boil water LED is still turned on, but the bottom uh, light has turned off. So right now it's activated the boiling mode and it will go to 100 degrees. But it does work, and uh, here's a quick time lapse of that process. What we can do now is release the air pressure here using the top valve. You can actually hear a slight hiss as the kind of pressure is released. The body of the water bottle, by the way, still gets a little bit warm. It's not uncomfortable to touch, but it's definitely getting warm. Uh, the top lid portion here is a little bit cooler, and we can start using it to, say, make uh, you know coffee, tea, or even, say, instant ramen, cooking food with that requires boiling water. So let's open up the lid here. There's still going to be a little bit of uh, kind of vapor, but overall, we've already released kind of the gist of it. You can see kind of the steam escape there on the top, ready for cooking, for drinking, anything that you want to use it for. I think it's a very cool concept, and it's executed pretty well for the budget price point. Um, although it lacks some features, such as uh, the ability to track how much water you've consumed compared to other smart water bottles, but this one really is about that heating. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Derma Smart Electric Heating Water Cup.